good morning one and all in this video we just learning about the epicyclic working and the construction it is a simple concept let me see the parts which is involved in the epicyclic gearbox so here you can see the what is a sun gear and these are the planet gears and the sun gear is here incorporated between the planet gears two planet gears here and this is a ring gear and this is the brake band which is used for the tightening of the ring gear and this is the projection of the epicyclic gear here you can see this is the planet gear and the shafts these are the shafts sun gear shaft it is so let me go to the working of the epicyclic gear box so here there is a, a three conditions which is work the which is work in the epicyclic gear box here the first condition here it is it works that is first gear the brake band is tighter is so that the ring gear is become stationary so the uh, the sun gear allows the planet carriers to revolve around inside the fixed ring so the output shaft rotates in the same direction as the input shaft this is the first condition here you can see the sun wheel revolves here the brake brake band is tightened so the ring is stationary here now the sun gear revolves and allows to revolve the planet gears too so due to the uh, gears that is a uh, in uh, contacted gear so when the sun gear is rotated with the help of the contact of the teeth uh, the planet gear also rotates this is the first condition in the first condition the sun gears revolves the planet gears but in this condition the uh, ring gear is stationary and the shaft the output shaft rotates at the same speed and with the with the same direction of the input shaft coming to the second condition here in the second condition the second wheel the sun wheel kept in stationary in first condition we kept the ring gear is stationary in second condition we kept the sun wheel is stationary and uh, the planet gear turns around the ring gear is the driving gear and the planet gear is a driven member so in the second condition he is the sun gear kept constant as the ring gear is a driving gear and the two planet gear are the driven member so in the second condition the ring, ring gear rotates itself by the help of the teeth contacted with the planet gear it uh, revolves the two planet gears in this second direction in the second gear second case the both the speed of the planet carriers and the ring gears is same and finally the third condition of uh, epicyclic gear box here it is that is a reverse gear we can see the third condition is called as a reverse gear a planet carrier is stationary and the sun wheel or sun gear drives the ring gear in third condition the planet carriers here you can see the planet carriers this is stationary the sun wave revolves drives the ring gear so the ring speed as the same of the sun gear and this turn by tightening the brake band so let we discuss all the things about the three conditions what we discussed here the first case in the first case the ring gear is stationary while as the sun gear revolves the two planet gears in the second case the sun gear is stationary while the ring gears revolves the two planet carriers in the third case the planet carriers is stationary while the sun wheel or sun gear revolves the bearings revolves the sorry sun ring gears these are the three conditions which is incorporated in the epicyclic gearbox and thanks friends thank you for watching this